Oh, if you ask the Sora mains, they'll say this character's broken, but... Because I think he's good. I think, I think he's good now. I destroy every sword I see on Elite. That's oh, 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 wow. Yeah, that's, that's Kamei, the, that, Kamei that's, watch that's out. That's the telltale. You know, Gabe beats the one he sees on Elite. Yeah, Kamei may have, come, come at me. <laughs> Anyways, um, we're not going to be seeing the Beast special of uh, PT, though. We're going to be seeing a character that he's been working on, has been doing a bit of damage in the Falco. He loves the spaces in this game. It's just uh, PT's is tried and true. Yeah, the HDR man out here. Mm -hmm. Yep. Is he what? Hey, 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 what? Oh, oh, dead stock. What? Whoa. Whoa. Okay, that's the first stock of Cub. Unfortunately, not even deciding to utilize the last hit of the of the side B right there. I think he thought he was Falco. He's the main Falco. Remember that? Uh, maybe. I don't know what else could have happened there, to be completely honest. But now it's a much more humongous deficit than it necessarily needs to be. But it might end right now if we're able to get this Blazog out right. Expecting the Falco Phantasm with the counter. Not going to be able to get it right there. Good air dodge and no drift in on the part of Beast. Not falling for that low percent mix up on the down tilt to the up smash for sure. Not going to lie to y'all. I would have gotten hit by that. Oh, yeah, for sure. Thousand percent. I. I find it so interesting when, like, a lot of players, uh, such as Beast, who, who you already know, they're a staple with their main already, like PT. Um, it's so weird when you see them go a secondary character because I know Cub mentally prepares, like, I'm ready for the PT. I know what I got to do. I watch the VODs. I know what, what Beast does. I know how to, like, condition him into this and that. And they just end up going a secondary character. And it's just, like, it throws you off your game a little bit. It's hard to get back into the zone when you have to change up your game plan. The game plan that you planned for a good hour thinking yeah. about, yeah. Well, I mean, I also feel like he wanted to go Falco because he might like the matchup a little bit more. I yeah, mean, the thing is that the up smash is going to take the stock. Falco could not only get on that damage and just keep Sora in disadvantage a lot, you know, easier. And keeping Sora in disadvantage can be tricky if you don't have true combos on the character. He's so floaty. And beyond even being floaty, that side B is basically afterburner kick. Yeah. And he's got three of them in the air and can choose how many he does in the air, you know what I mean? So, actually, if you... So if you're not a heavy combo character like Falco, Mario, Fox, whatever, characters that can keep opponents in disadvantage forever, keeping Sora there is hard. It's right. difficult, and you do not want to reset neutral against this character because a lot of his attacks, like you can see right there, you space them right, super safe mm -hmm. on block, super duper safe. So I think that's the reason we're seeing the Falco here first more than anything else because how's, how's Charizard going to you know, be able to keep that opponent Woo! in the air? Yeah, good. got the call out right there. Um, B's doing a really good job with the Falco. He's yet to be able to seal the stock, and that's the thing with Falco around this time. Um, it's kind of hard to just use your combo game to get the kills. You gotta like just raw, um, throw out a raw attack that just kills, which Falco has a plethora of. But um, right now, Cub doing a pretty good job keeping the keeping this as even as he possibly can, trying to go for a two frame option. Not gonna get anything there. Really good on, uh, really good on Beast to jump away right there, knowing that the LB out of shield was coming. Okay, that's actually good. That's yeah. good matchup knowledge. I can't even lie. Do you, do you know how many lower level players would have just kept holding shield there? I would have. Yeah, I would have too. Instead, he knows like this is this this this, this is one of our top players out here, man. You, you know, you gotta find out if you're gonna, you're not gonna be a top player unless you know like the ins and outs of some of these matchups. Like, is it possible to hit Sora? Here? Is it possible to hit him in between these hits? So many players don't lab that, or they don't even try. But we got Beast out here, you know, just plays off intuition. Mm. And it's looking like we're done with that Sora already. We are switching to the Joker out here. Slowly but surely getting meta relevant again with uh, MK Leo playing this character. Character never stopped being good, but, you know, he just definitely was not represented at the higher level very long. And Cubs out here trying to show you that this character still has the sauce. Rocking yeah. the super duper, <laughs> the super duper anime skin. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> nah, for sure. Um, Joker's one of those characters, like you said, like... Although his the character was dying out in terms of like top player representatives outside of MK Leo and Omega from uh, Georgia, like you know this character still is a menace, and especially when the Big Brother Arsene is out, like it's not a fun time. You really want to just get in the face of a character like Joker at all times. You don't want to make it easy for them. As we see the first stock fly down air into back air, good stuff coming out from Beast. Yet again, just proving that it doesn't matter what DLC character you are, I'm still going to be the one on top. And he is just continuing the rampage of Quick 44. That was. That's unfortunate. Very unfortunate, but it's looking like it's actually unfortunate oh my 
for the Joker. Oh, he's You're dead. dead. Oh, oh my God. We're back that was here. unfortunate. He actually, I see what happened right there. He just thought he had to like mix that up a little bit better, just jumping off the level and actually burn the one resource he had mm -hmm. to ensure he could space that down air properly. And unfortunately, he just burned it just a little too early. But he was able to take the stock regardless. And now we have Cub. Cub on his winner's bracket life right here. I love uh, you're not going for another one, right? Okay, yeah, you're good. I <laughs> love the way that Beast used um, the air dodge to make it back on stage safely and just to uh, continue uh, the corner pressure as he seals the stock with the Arsene out. It doesn't matter. He'll take that two for one deal for any day of the week. And that is Beast going Beast mode, literally. Just, you know, Bro, quick 2 0, really. That didn't go to game three. Yeah. Can't hi I can't hype everybody Yo, up, He man. said, I remember you. <laughs> I remember you and your crew. I know the little conversations you have in your Discord trying to make, like, top players and stuff. Oh, yeah. I'm here to put a silence to that. I hate Ness. I hate that you bred another good Ness for Jersey. We were so close to actually having an era where New Jersey does not have a Ness on the PR. Another broken Ness. But then Syrup rose from the ashes. You can't escape them all. You can't escape them all. You can escape most, but not all. But that was great stuff coming out from Beast. I mean, so far, all these sets, we've been seeing a lot of PR players coming out. Hayes, Beast, um, and a few others as well. But, yeah. like, you know, they're just really just proving 